the tarot decks of astrology are like the only ones I can read. It's, it's such really a cheat Carolina sheet. Astrology. It's such yeah. a cheat sheet for yeah. me. Because yeah. I'm like, I have like characters that go together with the planets and the, the zodiac signs. So it's just like, what house are they going to today? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We got two mothers on the board, which the mothers are basically queens. We got the hermit in the middle, which that would probably be a good representation of you <laughs> at this point, because he's also kind of walking the road. Mm. That symbolism. Because like, yeah, there's a lot of fire here. You're surrounded by mother fire and then strength, which is Leo's card. So, um, yeah, mind racing, but Mother Wind also kind of is all-knowing. She's kind of that... She's kind of mean, in a way, but she she's mean because, like, she sees things for what they are, not what they could be. What they don't. It's not about the potential of things. It's about what is this right now in the present. Mm. Um, strength and Mother Fire are kind of here... Mother Fire is a representation of, like, very much main character energy. Um, she is who she is, and she knows who she is um, because she utilizes the fire, which is her life energy, um, to assist in her day-to-day. -day. Um, notice she has a lion sitting there, and that's her pet. Hmm. That's kind of a flex. Hmm. Like, yeah, I'm a bad bitch. I have a fucking lion as a pet. And then you have the strength card, which the strength card is a lot different, a lot more different in this deck in its depiction. Um, it almost confuses me because it reminds me of temperance in a way. But strength here is surrounded by the serpents, huh. which you're a Leo, correct? Mm -hmm. So Leo energy, the strength to go on, the strength to like. You're going to be doing a lot of just, like, sitting around and thinking on your own. Um, that's kind of part of your mission right now is to, like, really, like, flesh out who you are as a person and kind of answer those questions yourself. The yeah. Seven of Fire, again, is, um, is reiterating this. You may feel lonely, and, like, there is some truth to that. Um, the seven of fire or seven of wands, um, is very much the traditional depiction of it is a person fighting off, um, six other wands on his own. Um, and he does it very gracefully. He has technique and this is kind of like these three cards are speaking a sentence right here where it's just like, you're alone, but you have the strength to take on the future but knowing that you're the only one that can take it on. Um, Sister Water, um, which would be like the Princess of Cups. Um, the princesses are kind of fun for me because they are the most, they are the closest to like the earth realm that you can get. The, a lot of the other um, suits, like the kings, the queens, and the princes, they're a little bit higher on the tree of life. So, like, the princes would be the Yasad. Um, the, the queen would be um, Tifereth. And then up here would be where the kings are. None of them have gotten to heaven yet. Kether is the divine heaven. Um, and the way I was taught to look at the kings and queens were that um, they fall in love with each, with each other. They create the prince and the princess and those two cards eventually rise to the occasion and become the king and the queen and the cycle continues and it's a cycle of remembering one's divinity hmm. so in order i hold the belief that we come down here to forget that we are divine so that we can remember that we are divine it's a very weird cycle thing it's a very <laughs> weird game we like to play down here but Earth is kind of the best place to do it. Um, 
so sister water is the culmination of like your feelings here down at earth this spread is very much physical it's what's going on with you here in the now in your body in your emotions mm -hmm. not to say that that's this isn't like a spiritual journey for you but a lot of this is being influenced by your physical um reality right now mm -hmm. then you have the nine of fire which is like yes you are carrying a bunch of shit on your back and i think that is what needs to be let go of and through this like isolation period that you're going through you'll learn that you can just kind of drop the wands that are on your back because the traditional um depiction of the nine of wands is somebody who's carrying a bunch of shit on their back a bunch of clubs on their back mm. and they don't realize that at any point in time they could just drop everything and do what they actually want to do mm. um so that's something that you'll be discovering um, throughout this year. That's what they're telling me. Um, three of wind, recognition, nine of wind. Yep, you got two nines on the board. And temperance, there there <laughs> she is. I was waiting for her. So three of wind, this is like the shadow work card for me. Um, like we were talking about when you were tripping and you were going through like a lot of the things like emotionally like processing things about you know your grandparents your parents is in your situation right now yeah. that's what you're supposed to be doing you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing um things seem a little more scary and scatterbrained than what they physically are because we have to remember mother wind is presiding over this whole spread mm -hmm. and she is the anchor and she is kind of the understanding that don't get swept away in emotion don't get swept away in the spectacle um i like terence mckenna's quote about he's talking about dmt and like one of his things is, is like don't get lost to astonishment because if you get lost to astonishment it's like telling the universe that you're expecting you're not expecting amazing things to happen to you all the fucking time it's the assumption that this astonishment will only happen once, and that's not true. It's going to happen throughout your entire lifetime, and that's something you need to, like, keep in your head at all times. Um, life's, life's a road of peaks and valleys, and understanding that it's all temporal. Um, nothing is ever permanent. It's just how life is. Infinitely impermanent is the way. And the cage, how proper. <laughs> the, ten, the Ten of Wands, the cage. Um, yeah, understanding, like, you're going to feel stuck. Um, and, that's, and that's fine. Still waters, Three of Cups. There we go. The Eight of Water. Um, understanding that you can also leave this place whenever the fuck you want to. Um, you're kind of, like, in a like a slow cooker right now that's the best way i can put it and you're kind of just waiting for like the meat to be done the, the vessel to be ready to receive the next thing mm. um and just having a lot of patience with your circumstances is going to guide you and kind of be your bread and butter right now that's what you kind of need to cling on to is like understanding that this is a process and it's going to be a slow process it's sometimes going to be painful, and that's okay. In order for us to experience joy and pleasure, we also need to understand what pain feels like. Mm -hmm. It's an equilibrium. Um, in Lukumi, we don't believe in sin. We believe in equilibrium. Um, there needs to be good and bad in order for life to continue, or else everything will go into chaos. Um, of wind the devil second time the devil's on the board sister earth she is earth of earth um all the princesses are the earthly acts aspect of whatever um suit they're coming from so like sister water is um the earthy side of water sister earth is the earthy side of earth um mm -hmm. 
the thing about Earth is that it's the other three elements put together. And that's what creates Earth in the tarot and in alchemy. And let's see what our shadow card is. Four of fire. There we go. That is the equilibrium that I was talking about. Four is such a beautiful number because just like this table that we have right now has four legs. It's steady. Mm -hmm. And that's where we want to. We want equilibrium. We want to be able to get to that harmonious spot. So understanding that this is a waiting game and understanding that your job is to kind of like sit in the shit for a bit. Hmm. I didn't mean to rhyme there. <laughs> Uh, does that make sense to you? Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Gives me a sense of relief, kind yeah. of like knowing that, you know, my situation isn't so. I don't know, that there's a. There a will be a way it. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything has purpose to it if you assign it. Like, um, this is kind of corny, but like we sell these fucking really shitty. Um, like crystal bracelets over at the smoke shop and people always ask me do these mean anything and i always tell them they do if you assign meaning to them yeah. but i mean you got to do that on your on your own time mm -hmm. you know should i buy this i don't know you it's your bank account kind of look at it like that yeah. you know anything else i can clarify no. Thank cool. you, Joey.